Hello um, and welcome to Outside Lives People and Planet series. Uh, my name's Stu and I've been asked uh, to talk to you about a musical instrument um, and one in musical instrument in particular um, which is this. So uh, can anybody tell me what this is? That's right it's a trumpet. No it's not a trumpet obviously it's it's a guitar and it's a certain type of guitar. This one's called an acoustic guitar and it's called that because it's made of wood and it's got a big hole in the middle which is where the sound comes out. There are other types of guitar. Electric guitars are what you'll hear bands rocking out to making lots of loud noises and there's bass guitar as well which plays all of the, the lower notes. Um, on this guitar you'll see that it's got one, two, three, four, five, six strings. The top string's really fat and it ends in the bottom string which is really thin and that again explains why some of the notes are low and other ones are high. Um, what else um, What else to tell you? Well each of those six strings makes a, a particular note and there are seven notes in total um, ranging from A to G so that is the first seven letters of the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, and what's magic about the guitar and lots of other musical instruments is that when you combine those notes they create what are known as chords. Now chords can be happy um, or they can be sad um, and depending on which chords you use will make the listener feel a certain way. Um, so to give you an example of what I mean by that I thought it would make sense to uh, play a song that you should be familiar with um, but I'm going to change the chords from being happy to being sad or as they're known in musical language, from being major chords to minor chords. Um, so see if you know this one and see if you can spot what's wrong. Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a Well, that was a bit miserable, wasn't it? Um, I think uh, we can all agree that the original version of that song is the best, but hopefully it shows you what a difference the, the chords make. So if you change from major to minor, you go from taking a happy song and turn it into a, quite a sad one. Um, but rather than sticking on, on that moody and miserable note, uh, we want to play something happy, don't we, to cheer us all up a little bit. Um, this is a, a theme tune off the telly from a programme you might recognise for anybody who watches CBeebies. Um, I watch it probably about 24 hours a day at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a happy little number and yeah, I like to play it. So again, see if you can spot it and see the difference in how you feel when you hear this one. about music. The twirly moon. The there we go. That was the twirly woos and that was my own arrangement there um, specifically for this for this music instructional video lesson thing. I um, hope you like it. Uh, I enjoy singing that one with my daughter. Um, she's 15 now, but uh, we should really stop. No, she's not. She is four and a half, and uh, we have spent a lot of time watching CBeebies over the years, and uh, particularly lately. Uh, what next? So we've done a sad song, we've done a happy song, 
and now I think it would be good to combine happy and sad chords um, because um, that can change the song as the song goes along, happy moments and sad moments and uh, also um, it's a great way I think for me anyway of, of, of relaxing um, if you've got a nice piece of music which takes you on a journey and tells a story um, yeah, it's a great way to unwind if you're feeling a little bit a little bit, uh, I don't know, you might be hot and bothered or you might have had a bad day at nursery at school or something like that. And it's a great way just to switch off. So I wanted to choose a piece of music again, which hopefully you'll know, um, but also a piece that will actually take you along on a little journey and you'll feel happy and sad in the process. So I'm going to play that for you now. And to play this song, uh, what I need to do is use something we've not talked about yet, which is called a capo. It looks like this. What capo is, it's a springy thing, you can see there, uh, and what it does is pinches the strings against the guitar, that's called the fretboard where all the strings are found, and what it means is if I play this note here without a capo, and then I put a capo on, and play the same note, it's higher, isn't it? And that means that the, uh, the, the whole register of the song goes up. Um, and I need to do that because this song's a little bit low for me and it might still be a bit low um, but without it, it <laughs> you wouldn't hear a word I was saying which may not be a bad thing but yeah again uh, hopefully you know it and hopefully you like it but keep your ears out for happy chords and sad chords um, and it might be a nice idea to close your eyes for this one um, and just uh, let it relax you or try to and I'll try not to mess it up Yeah, that was a big test for me. I only had a go at that this morning, um, but it's a nice song uh, and it really lends itself well to the acoustic guitar because it's got a quote, quite a folky feel um, and folk music and acoustic guitars sort of go hand in hand. Um, I hope as you were listening, you heard the happier bits um, and the sad bits because that's what that song's all about, isn't it? Um, and obviously it's taken from Frozen 2. I don't know if I need to say that for copyright reasons. Um, but yeah, it's a great film and the music in that film is absolutely fantastic. Uh, our daughter Annalie, she belts them out, or her approximations of them, and I'm sure lots of, uh, lots of you do too. It's a great film for yeah, proper, some proper songs in that. Um, right, now it's time to talk about uh, how you write a song. Um, and there are no rules for this, really. Um, you can write a song as, uh, any way you want. You could just write a song that has music, it doesn't need to have words. Or you could write a poem, 
and then you could decide to put that poem to to words which is how a lot of the music i do with my friends works uh, uh our, our lyricist she's a she's a poet first and then we we take her poems and put them to music um but rather than um Rather than talk about somebody else's poems, I thought I would have a go at talking about um, a song that I wrote. And a great way of writing um, songs is to work out what you want to say um, and then write down some of the things you want to say um, or ask your mummy and daddy to help you with that. And then think about words that rhyme because they don't always need to rhyme um, songs at all. But um, yeah, if they do, um, it's uh, it makes the each line sound really nice next to each other, um, and I'll show you an example of, of what I mean by that in this next song. Yeah, so this song um, was about um, my local country park. Um, I live in the city of Liverpool, or just on the outskirts of it, and there's lots and lots of houses around here and factories, and there's a big port and lots of busy roads. Um, but there's an amazing little space called uh, Rimrose Valley. And it's where we all go, who live, all the people who live around here, to get some fresh air and, uh, you know, play around in, in the countryside because it is our little spot of countryside in the community. And I know, obviously, that's really important to outside lives, getting out and uh, enjoying the fresh air and, and, yeah, just appreciating everything nature's got to offer. Um, unfortunately, some bad people want to smash up Rimrose Valley and put a road through it. Um, so we're trying to stop that. And... Uh, that's what I wanted to write my song about. Now I asked people uh, what they used Rimrose Valley for, what their memories were of it, um, and scribbled them down and tried to look for uh, lines that ended, uh, <laughs> or tried to make lines that ended in, the, in a sort of a rhyming word. Um, as I say, there's no, there's no need to do that necessarily, but that's, that's the way I did it. And it's quite, quite a cheesy little number, but I wanna show you um, about you know how simple songs can be so people said that they like flying their kites there they like riding their bikes they went for walks they walked the dog um, and all sorts of things like that so I literally <laughs> took those words and put them into a song so um, yeah here if you here if you can um, spot the activities that people do and how many of those do you do with your mummies and daddies and um, yeah and that's what that's what this song's about and it's called my Rimrose story um, but you could consider writing a, par a song about your park or wherever you go with your mummy and daddies. It's where I learned to ride my bike, the place we used to fly our kites. I'll kick a football in the field, a dream one day we from trees, play hide and seek, run through the leaves. We're getting scrapes and love the chase, knew every inch of our own place. So many days like these, scuff our shoes and graze our
walk our daughter across the fields. She loves the birds and loves the leaves. Another minor chord, I want you to feel sad. How could I help her understand if they destroy this special land? I want you to feel really sad. See, there's this thing that I quite like. To learn to ride her bike right here, and no other thing as well. And that's the chance for her to tell her own rainbow story. Her Yeah, so there you go, a song about my local country park um, and what it means to all the people around here. So as I say, I pointed some minor chords out to you, I don't know if you spotted that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a happy little tune, but um, the sad bits are to kind of let people know that something uh, that's under threat and we want to try and stop that. So our community all around here, we're getting together and we're trying to tell these men in suits to go away and leave our park alone, um, which is the right thing to do. Green space is so important and all the uh, fresh air it gives us, um, which obviously you already know. Um, yeah, so I think we're about done. I just want to say thanks to Outside Lives for asking me to do this. It's a, it's a really nice thing. And I hope you all enjoyed my little introduction to the guitar and <laughs> music. It's one person's introduction. There's probably lots more professional ways of doing it. Um, but yeah, um, stay happy. Use music to help you relax um, and make your life fun. Um, and yeah, I will see you again, maybe. Take care. Bye-bye.